Hey guys, welcome to my third vlog post. Um, this week I'm going to be talking about the big popular question, um, why do bad things happen in the world? And I thought this would be really appropriate for this week because there's been lots of um, hardships happening right now. Um, you know, the Thousand Oak shooting happened this week and then um, the fires in California that have caused many people to lose loved ones and even their homes. Um, and so I just thought right now would be a really good time um, to talk about how, um, God, you know, we need God more than ever right now because there's so much suffering in the world. Um, and so I just wanted to start off with the basic answer to, to why do bad things happen in the world. There isn't an answer. Um, we, as Christians, are never going to have all the answers. And that's just part of who God is and um, part of um, our faith is just we're not going to know everything. Um, and so faith is challenging and you should be having questions and concerns and um, confusion while you're reading the Bible. And if you don't, then that means you're probably not thinking hard enough about what you're reading. Um, that's just all part of the process and don't feel like, you know, you're, you're stupid if you have questions um, and, you know, maybe you think, oh, you know, there's, why do I have all these questions and um, I just feel like everyone has it all figured out, but I don't, not at all. Like you, like, it's good to have questions. So just wanted to throw that out there. Um, but, so we're never, we're never going to find out why um, there's so much suffering in the world. Um, we'll find out when that day comes and we can ask God face to face. But he did warn us um, that this is all going to happen, so it is expected. John 16.33 says, I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. So God did warn us that this world is going to be full of pain, full of rejection, starvation, um, you know, suffering. So it's not a big surprise that things like this have been happening. It's really unfortunate, but it, you know, it's um, something that we have been expecting. And so um, sin has been in the world ever since um, the Garden of Eden. So it's not like, you know, this is the first time that has happened. It's been a continuing process. Um, so even though we don't know the real answer to why there are bad things happening, we do know some things about God for sure. Um, so one thing that we do know is that God wants the absolute best for us. Um, one of the reasons is that we know this is that he gave us free will. Um, free will is how we are allowed to make our own decisions in life. Um, our own decisions, whether to follow him or not, um, our own decisions, um, you know, whether to make a good or bad choice. And if we were always forced into making the right decision, then there would never be any spiritual growth in our relationship. Um, you know, we'd always just have the right answer and we wouldn't be able to grow in um, how situations have, um, you know, situations always have consequences. And so we would never learn from those consequences. So he gave us choices in the world. And um, so, you know, he never forced us to have a relationship with him. We get to choose. Um, and then a, the second thing that we do know is that God's always there for us. He's always um, having open arms. So I've talked about this in my last couple of vlogs that, um, you know, you come to him no matter how you're feeling. And in these, um, in the situation when bad things happen, no matter how you're feeling, um, you're always, you're always welcome to go to God. And I feel like, I don't know if this is true, but it's possible that God could be putting, um, situations like these in the world, um, you know, suffering and tragedy, tragedies, um, and it could be taken as an opportunity to come to him and to rely on him 
and see the good in every situation and see how powerful he can be and how he can make the situation into something you never thought could happen. So, um, he, you know, he's been through all kinds of disasters and all kinds of suffering. So, so he does know what you're going through. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, when you do feel like you need to go to somebody to talk to, God's been through it all. And so he's, he's always going to be there for you with open arms. So when you're feeling like you need to ask the question to God, um, why, God, why did you let this happen? Um, you know, instead, pray that he'll be able to help you find that answer. He might not be able to give you the direct answer right away, um, but he'll be able to help you understand um, the circumstances and maybe um, possibly gradually give you an answer to why that happened. So despite our difficulties and everyday challenges, we still always have hope and we know that one day we will find out all the answers and that's when we see him in heaven. So remember, always remember that God's plan is always going to be greater than your plan. Any plan that you ever had, that you ever can think of. Um, and just remember John thirteen seven says, you do not know what I'm doing now, but later you will. Thanks for watching my third vlog, guys. Love you guys. Have a great rest of your night.